yeah hello viewers and welcome to the channel i'm so excited because canva has just dropped a new exciting feature which you also will be so excited about you know canva has been a favorite app i've been using on this channel and it's still even the best app i've seen so far for graphic designers be it a student teacher anything you want to use it to do canva is just your best go to so now without wasting much of our time please go to your canva and let me show you the latest launches that we have and how you can implement them in your designs so the first launch here is the magic ride i'm so excited about that magic ride because instead of you going ahead to chat gpt to look for what to put in your presentation slides to look for grammar like put it all together just go ahead and use the magic ride let me show you so you go to your canva app and this is the interface what you are going to do is you can either create a design or you use their template but without wasting our time let's use their template let's use create a design so for this create a design i'm going to go for presentation so i'll click on this presentation so here is my first page what i want to do is i'm just going to i don't want to waste our time at all so i'm just going to go to this creative portfolio so i need just this hello my name is So I've applied this first page and what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and edit this, just the name, to have it in my name. My name is, let's just say my name is Blessing. Then about me, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Yes, and type in, I mean, my name is Blessing, then I'm a graphic designer and content creator so now let's assume i'm just talked here i don't know what else to write so just click on this magic right yeah i'm so excited so now that you've seen magic right what are we doing here we want this magic right to continue writing so click on continue writing and let's see you can see oh i'm so happy and i find immense joy in bringing ideas to life through visual telling whether it's crafting engaging social design you can see this magic right is just the best you don't need to go to chat gpt a hi what's happening anything you don't need them again so all i'm doing is i'm just going to click on enter and here you have it it has been added to my portfolio about me page but now that i'm not done you can still go ahead click on your magic right and hack this magic right to create summary just summarize all this that you've written for me yeah and this is the summary you can see the summary i like it in white so now what are you going to do if you need a summary if you need this word just go with a me one ah so now you can see how sweet and interesting this is so if you are going with this you can delete the, i mean if you're not going with this delete this if you're going with this delete. another um way to have uh, to use your magic right click on magic magic right and this time around we are not creating a summary come back to this and click on magic right so now you want to shorten it go ahead and click on shorten you can see you can see you can see oh yeah so now if you want to add it below if you want to replace if you want to enter anything you want to do just go ahead and do it for this time around i replace the test then click on magic right again if you want to rewrite it click on it if you want to write it in more fun way let's go ahead and see you see I absolutely revel in the magic of visual storytelling, crafting high catching social media posts. You can see that it's so forward. Then you go ahead, replace it again. If that is what you want, go ahead to magic right again. If you want it to be so formal, like you want a more formal, you click on it and it's exited. If you want to fix spelling error, if you want to change the voice, if you want to add a voice, sprinkle fairy dust, custom prompt, just go ahead and do all of this. You can see I'm so excited about these features. So without 
wasting or dwelling too much on this magic, right? Please don't forget to explore on this one in order to see how magic this right is if there is anything like that so the next thing we are talking about is second feature which is um how to sort sticky notes in the whiteboard and this sorting of sticky notes is basically for teaching you know it helps to effortlessly brainstorm sort and summarize actions better with your student so now what we are going to do is we need a whiteboard so you go back to your home page and for this home page just go ahead and look for whiteboards we need the whiteboard so so as for me to show you how to go about it so for this whiteboard we have several templates at this right side so what we are going to do is i need sticky notes template and i would love to go with this customer support workflow diagram so if you already have a sticky note as a teacher in order to enhance and to even summarize actions better to brainstorm with your student all you need to do is just go ahead and looking at this you need to just right click and then drag it down so you can see after i've highlighted it the next thing i'm doing it already brought out the sort option so are you sorting by topic by color by name by reactions so now let's sort by color first because we have several colors so you can see it has been changed then if you are sorting i want to make it bold yes so another thing is let's sort by topic if you are sorting by topic you see sorting success is liking yourself just hold on so now it has been sorted by topic and there is a question here our sort by was it f of course it was yes thanks for your feedback you're welcome so now that is just the way to go about it anyhow you want to sort it just if you want to sort by reactions probably you have um these emojis and you want to sort them just click on it and there you have it sorted the third features now that we that um Canva just released is um, customizing your data in chat to customize your data in the chat you know when you have chat and you just need to customize it and then make it pop and make it so interactive let's go into that so we have this chat like this so how do you go about it you just click on this once you click on it go to your edit you can see there is an option of edit here so once you click on edit this is a funnel chart and that is why you have the option funnel chart here so if at all there is another chart there you can go ahead and click it and even it would have suggested the kind of chart that you want to work with so you go back to for um edit and click on it's already on numbers so whatever however you want to have it so let's assume it's on numbers and that is what we want to do so you just click outside it and go back to data so you just come over here it helps you to easily edit a data instead of going over again to upload it you know instead of going back to your maybe excel your microsoft anything you know instead of going back to edit and come back and upload it again so you just go ahead and edit it change it edit this one too you can see it's already the changes is being affected as you are doing as you are affecting it here so if you are changing this you change it to also to 20 Can you see it has been changed to 29? Please check as I'm typing, you check that other side too. Change that one to 80. Can you see? The funnel too is changing gradually. So that is all. And once you are done, all you need to do is just click outside the box. Yeah! You just transform your data without having to go ahead, edit on your Excel and come back and upload it again. Oh, are you excited about this? Please, you have to tell me in the comment section if the features that excite you the most. Yeah. So the third features that we'll be talking about is, is still on presentation, but this time around, 
you know we don't usually animate photos we can animate test we can have but this one you're going to animate your photos and this is for a phone review let's go ahead and let me show you what i'm saying so for this animation let's go ahead and animate this even from their features like from when you see explore those pictures you will see that the particular picture they want us to animate this looking at this animate this photo for a fun review so what we are doing now is you're just going to go ahead and click on this photo go to animate which you can see presentation settings photo you can see new brush in digital gradient sketch spray so let's click on one of them and see you can see all of these are new so all you have to do is just do let's check out this gradient you can see you can even have them in circular you can have it in blocks let's check out the blocks wow so beautiful and you can have it in lines you can see it's coming up in lines that's the style then you can just once you are done just click on let's go with the circular i love it more so once you are done, all you need to do is just go back. It has been added. All you need to do is go back and click on present in order for you to see what you've animated. So once you click on present, just hold on. Are you presenting in full screen? Are you presenting in this presenter view, present and record, autoplay? Which of the presentation are you going with so present full screen let's go with this and present then you'll see the effect oh yeah you can imagine presenting and then your picture just came up with that style okay now so let's go back let's go back and let's move on to the next feature so the next feature we'll be talking about is um, you make your design sync with popular music tracks for that one i'll still show you but I would love us to understand that in this new feature, for we Nigerians, we don't have the feature yet in our country. It's not available yet because when I tried it, the um, information it brought out was that it's not yet available in our country. So you can see, I wanted to include this particular music library. Yeah. Um, in my design but this was what it brought out tracks from our popular music library are not available in your country yet so i don't know much about these particular features yet until it is made available in my country nigeria so let's talk about another features which is translating a document that feature is so 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 lovely that feature is so 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 interesting for i am um, my fellow trans translators if you have been aspiring to actually translate um your language into another language you know this feature is basically for you you are, i'm sure you are excited about this so this is what we'll be doing here we'll go back to that particular um slide we used recently and all you need to do is just click on that test click on this three dots yeah and scroll down so you can say translate test click on translate test how we translating you need to first select the language so which language are you translating to thank god you don't need to call a translator to come and do that for you again so i think i would love to go with french because i still have a little idea of what french language is so now you need a professional you need um, if you need a tone of voice, of course, you can leave that out, select test from current page, yes. Then this test, that is what we've selected. If you want all the page, then you click on translate page. So, you know, you we only selected this, so just click on translate. And let's say, translating your test into French. Isn't this exciting? When I tell you about Canva, it's so sweet to have. It's one of the greatest uh things that have changed my life so let's see you can see i'm going to go ahead and increase this font in order for you to see well that it has been translated to french je mets de la terre hey don't let me read rubbish de la magic de la narration visual you can see it just translated your english language to 
a French language. Thank you to Canva for this new feature. Another feature that we now have here is when you want to design with diversity, we have is more like a template too. That one you can just go ahead and explore here too. There is this um Disney features too. That Disney feature is basically to add Disney content to make your students smile. So for this particular Disney feature, when you get here, you see add chance to your creation with beloved Disney characters. So you need to add Disney content to your designs. So this is for pro users too. It's not for free subscribers. So just click on it and then you're going to have it added to your design. This is just to make our students smile more, basically the children. So now you're just going to go down. If you want to follow them, go ahead and follow them. Then you're just going to click on, you see birthday bash, click on it and let's customize this template, you can see. So you can go ahead and customize this birthday template for your kids. So you can see, very lovely. Then birthday bash, add your event description this and that this and that and there you have it once you are done click on download how can you use the disney collection use this template for personal and educational purposes this template can only be printed using canva prints if available in your region you can't use this template for commercial purposes you can only use this content provided in the template no outside element so just click on got it now that we spent so much time explaining all this, there is just one last one that we need to talk about, and which is subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, we are done with all the features, but don't forget to try and explore those features yourself. Sit down, operate these features into your design. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. Please subscribe to this thing inside YouTube channel. You, This is just your own way of supporting us, of telling us that we are doing something meaningful. God bless you as you do. Like, share, and even comment on which of those features is your best feature or the most exciting one to you. And until the next video, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. With love from all of us at Distilling Inside, we say bye-bye.